and Google and YouTube, which has got so many adverts now, you can't actually get on with anything because they're fucking everywhere. Fuck off. Flat. Fuck me. Every fucking where. Adverts all over the fucking place. I'm not going to buy anything from you, so there's no point fucking advertising your fucking wallies. In fact, I might drop a fucking atom bomb on your fucking industry, to be honest with you. Pretty bastards. Right, back to a song. <laughs> Here we go again then. Music serves the savage beast. You 
You made me laugh. You made me laugh. You made me cry. You made me laugh. You made me cry. When you said, when you said, come on, let me come to you. I look at it. Just dropped away, you little bastard. I'm not gonna hook on you. Oh God, I'm making this, making this great recording, and you know how it kind of switches off and it goes black. Because it's like doing power, like doing a power rest with from mouse. It goes off, doesn't it? And <clears throat> I'm just trying to get it back again by moving my mouse. Nothing happens. I thought, oh my god, your recording's just gonna fail on me, you know? You got like advertisement there. They've got a new thing up there for you to click on for some more advertisements. I'm crazy. So. This story is called Sitting in a City and it's about being in Paris with the ex-wife and she had a wedding veil on. So, we went from Rotterdam through Belgium and she still had a wedding veil on, you know, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. If you think of any matter, she had like this hat on, you know, it was a wedding veil. We were on a train, we are on a midnight train from Rotterdam. Going through Belgium and these punk rockers got on. I kind of like punk rockers because I used to be a punk rocker myself. And he said, to, one of them said to my girlfriend, who was my wife, because we just got married that day, he said, Pou Safe and Bel Chapeau and Beau Chapeau, Chapeau, Bel, I fuck knows what, in French. And then she says, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't speak French. Yeah. But he was just saying, he got a nice hat, you know. So, <coughs> went through midnight train, whatever it was, I don't know, a bit more. Anyway, what, to cut a long story short, we, we got a Paris we were in there, <coughs> say there at seven in the morning or something, I can't fuck knows, I can't remember. But we're sitting in a restaurant in the station, say it's the Garden Nord, and she's got a wedding hat on, and a veil, and we're having a cup of coffee and some croissants. And then we're trying to make our way to this hotel, a great western hotel in uh, Lavarin Saint Hilaire, right? <laughs> so, we have a coffee and a croissant in Paris, eh? You know, in this big kind of room, you know. It's like one of these rooms where. Uh, uh, all these French poets that have hung out in a place like this. It's kind of dingy as well, you know, this lighting, like gas lighting. But, um, that's the song. So, <clears throat> really, the song is just kind of about that. You know, you're with your wife on your wedding day. And we got married the day after, honeymoon. And so, we're in Paris for the honeymoon. And for some reason, I wrote this song thinking back to this place and uh, and in La Varenne saint I had like a synchronicity experience where there was a street called uh, Rue Robert and one called Avenue Simone and I was called, I'm called Roberts and she's called Simone I said to her look Rue Robert Avenue Simone uh, Robert Street and Simone Avenue. I said, look, isn't that just amazing? She said, no. <laughs> and then she said, no, I thought, I don't think this woman's a woman for me at all, you know. Some things have got to be right, aren't they, you know. If you're fucking someplace in the world and you and your boyfriend and your names coincide right in the street, something either synchronous is happening or it isn't. We don't know, do we really? We don't know. 
that's why I call things coincidental because it's like incidental is this and incidental is that and where two people come together it's coincidence coincident coincidental because I kind of love the same things I like this music right so alright so so she said no no I don't really see anything in that Rue Robert Avenue symbol. So I wrote a short story about this, you know, ten years later. And now I've written this song, so but then hundred yards down this Rue Robert. Oh fucking hell, we came to the road and I looked across the road and it said I'm not kidding you. Uh, Quaffers Simone and Boutique Robert. Ah oh, they really fucking died. Next to each other. Boutique Robert and Quaffers Simone. So it's like Robert and Simone next to each other and fucking So right. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. I'm called Robert. She, my ex wife was called Simone. Now uh, how more coincident how many more coincidences do you want, you know? I said, Look you know <coughs> Quaffers is a hairdresser's and uh, what was it? boutique is like a fashion shop. Right? It's like you know boutique fashion shop. It's Robert and head Simone hairdressers. I said, what about that for coincidence? She says, no, I don't really see anything. I coincidence. You know, on your honeymoon, you know, in a strange city, different. You know, you've never been there before. So. That's yeah, just one of those things where people don't really, they're not really meant for each other, you know, so. That's the story. And seeing as I mean, I could play it again, couldn't I suppose? And then, you got kind of value for money, haven't you, in this video? Sitting in the city like Paris One really fighting out Sitting in a city like Paris Looking at your wedding veil You made me laugh Ha 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 You made me cry You made me laugh When you said When you said Oh, sorry, it should be. Changed it, you see. I, I used to play it like that, but I've added on another, like, crying part to it, like this. You made me cry. You made me laugh. You made me cry. later I tried to write some short stories. I did, I wrote loads of short stories. And then when you write things you see, it comes out and then it'll come out in a song or it'll come out in a story or come out in a work of art, you know, anything. As long as you express it, getting it out of your system, uh, there's a chance you could write a song or 
rat poem, you know. So that's, uh, that's it really. City in a city la Paris. City in a city la Paris. I don't have to say it in French, so like, c'est assez long, en cité comme Paris, there. En assez long, whilst sitting, dans une cité comme Paris, that's it. So that, that's the song.